Up After School is a service for young people who are transitioning out of school, living with learning difficulties, um, who aren't eligible for NDIS funding. The highlight has definitely been seeing their participants progress through building up their interview skills and applying for roles, actually getting interviews and things like that has been super exciting. Northcourt started this house in 2020. It has been challenging since the start of the house, but we are very lucky to have all customers and staff. Oran Park Group Home is a house that's been designed for the customers. It's a modern house. Some of the features are automatic benches that go up and down. The blinds are state of the art where we can, the customers can press the buttons and have their blinds go up and down. It's a high tech house. We've got some features that are through Apple. We've got four customers that live here. They range in their disabilities from high, high complex needs, non-verbal, stroke, schizophrenia, MS, neuro disease. Since customers moved to Northcote accommodation, their life has completely changed. Young people living in aged care, they didn't have any access and it wasn't appropriate uh, accommodation for them. They were just uh, put it in there because there was no other option and they had no contact with the community, family wasn't uh, in contact as well. During COVID time, it made it worse. They didn't have uh, specific support required for uh, their age. Uh, they meant to be going out, they meant to be enjoying their life. This is what they wanted to do there, but they had no support. But since they uh, st uh, got involved with Northcourt and moved into their own house with Northcourt, they have access to staff, they have access to community, they have access to vehicle. My name is Sean and I am 19. I don't really know how long ago it was made when I started coming to Northcott. Northcott's been able to adapt how we support Sean a fair bit through the last year and a half. Sean was in centre doing um, some Vox Les work. We sort of found that that was okay for Sean, but he didn't really resonate with him that well. We started just making some things like uh, I made some horse reins with Sean because that was something that I knew some things about. And Sean was able to make some money out of out of making them and selling them. And that gave him a, bit, a little bit of self-worth and it actually put a bit of money value to the work we were doing, which opened up a little bit that these guys are actually here to help me. They're not just running a program, they're, they're really here to help me. Well, depending on the day, I typically do cooking, IT, or sometimes I do stuff out in the community. Yeah, I enjoy not being stuck at home all day. Getting Sean into work experience. I just noticed Sean really didn't want to throw away anything. He's like, I can repair that, I can repair that, I can repair that. And I was like, well, yeah, let's see if we can get you somewhere that, yeah, you can, you can start learning to repair things and then get you down to a mechanic shop. Hey, I believe it was about six months I've been at the mechanic shop now. I'm learning to do new things. I enjoy learning about how to do new things. When he first turned up, he was very shy and wouldn't interact with most of our staff. So with the last couple of months, he's been growing heaps and getting sort of more confident, knows all his tasks he needs to do and he can do it sort of unaided without any instructions. So yeah, it's, you can see his confidence growing a lot. They are very busy. <laughs> but they are nice, helpful.